Google dropped the highly anticipated vacation packages for the UK and Europe last week and we need to talk. Hey guys, hello, welcome, I'm Stella. I travel solo and I'm also a passionate Disney adult. The past weeks were just waiting for the annual drop of the UK European vacation packages that are released by the Disney World Company and I thought I'd give you a little rundown and make a little comparison of the offers we got this year with the offers that we actually got last year. Last year's vacation package included a merchandise and dining credit. The amount was dependent on the category of hotel you've been staying in. In addition to that, they also offered a $100 or $200 gift card. Again, also depending on the hotel category you've been booking for. I should add that it might get a little bit confusing in regards of currencies because the prices I paid and that I also later on will put on the screen are in euros but the credits, especially for last year's package, they were in dollars. I should also add that for my reference I'm using the Irish Disney World booking page for everything. So after all those disclaimers, let's dive into the bookings and then just compare them one by one. As I said, I have two bookings that I would like to compare from this year to next year. The one is a two week stay at All Stars Music in January. Uh, 2024 respective in 2025 and the other one is another two week stay at Coronado Springs uh, for August 2024 and 2025. For the accommodation and this is the all-star music stay in January from the 13th of, of January to the 27th of January Accommodation rental and total for 40 nights and again you pay per room, you do not pay per person. I was traveling solo. Accommodation rental 40 nights was 2044 euro. Then we got a dining and merchandise credit of 36 dollar per room per night which equals in a total of 504 dollar and this was basically spending money that I could spend on dining in any of the dining locations all over Disney World or in any gift shop for whatever merchandise I would like to, to have it. On top of that, I also got a $100 Disney gift card as an additional spending money. On top of that, of course, I got a ticket. I got a 14 day ticket. I paid 615 euro for this ticket. It's a park hopper ticket and the water parks are included and actually also the memory maker is included in this ticket. In general, if you go on the UK or Ireland side, you will always find this 14 day ticket. My German friends, we do not have this on the German page. You have to go to the English speaking world in order to get that if you want to stay there longer. This all together brings us to a subtotal for the booking of 2,659 euros and I had a total of 604 euros of spending money for the two weeks. Now we are having a look at the same dates for All Star Music for January 2025. Hi, this is Booking Stella from the I don't know, another timeline, not the future. I'm just looking at the prices for January next year and I just wanted to insert here that the pricing for the All-Star Resorts is really strange to me at least. There is a price difference of 400 euro between All-Star Sports and All-Star Music and All-Star Music being the most expensive of the three. And I have seen times of the year where this was exactly the other way around, where all the sports was the most expect, uh, expensive. For me, they are all pretty much the same, apart from the theming. Maybe you might have your differences. My personal favorite actually is all the sports, um, but I do not get a price difference of 400 euro for basically the same hotel where you can also easily use the amenities between the three of them because you can 
actually walk around there. So yeah, if you have any idea, let me know down in the comments. I um, I am lost with the Disney pricing. Maybe it's just the algorithm. Accommodation rental for All Star Music is 2,478 euro. You get one free quick service meal worth $21.99 per person per night, which for one person comes for the whole total of stay of 14 nights to 307 euros and 86 cents, uh, which can only be used for food. Then we have again the 14 day ticket, including water parks, park hopping and the memory maker for a price of 669 euro quite a little bit more expensive like 50 euros more expensive than it was for this year the subtotal for the same holiday that we had in 2024 is 2947 euros so round about 300 euros more expensive than this year but with only half of the spending money and the spending money also only dedicated for food and not for anything else. Also just to add, if I would have booked with the cheapest all-star resorts, which for 2025 would be actually all-star sports, then the subtotal would go down by 400 euros roundabout and would be 2,545 euros even slightly a little bit cheaper than um, the price for this year in January, but again with less spending money. Then let's have a look at the second booking. The second booking is a two week stay at Coronado Springs Resort, which is a moderate resort. And I will break it down now for you. The total accommodation rental is 4,144 euros including $100 per night per room, dining and merch credit, plus a $200 gift card. And this comes together as $1,600 of spending money for the two weeks per room. And if you are a lucky person and traveling solo, you can just, you know, living the life and spending 1600 euros and if you're not spending 1600 euros as i said before those credits they were actually good after the holiday so you could still like take it and then spend it the next time you would come back to disney world we then also had the 14 day park ticket pass with park hopper memory card the whole shenanigans and that was 595 euros and the total of the holiday was 4739 euros but with 1600 euros of give it to me i'm the king of the world spending money let's have a look at the 2025 booking okay i'm looking at the 2025 booking for coronado springs and I'm just saying that the um, the price category might be a little bit off because they only have water view rooms left. This is not the cheapest category. I don't believe so. So yeah, I will go what I have here because this is what is available for booking. Um, also if you want to check it, but it's probably not the cheapest booking category for this hotel. So this is just like a short, funny little disclaimer. So the total accommodation rental was 4,710 euros. We are getting a ticket for 14 days for 589 euros. Again, right, the ticket price is fluctuating. I have no idea how this is calculated. If anyone knows, please drop a comment below. Then we are getting actually the free quick service dining plan per person per night. This includes two quick service meals, one snack, one beverage per meal and also a refillable resort mug and this is worth 783 dollars and 86 cent conclusions 
I'm a little bit biased, so let's start with my biased little opinion, which is I like the offer from last year more because dining and merch credit was just so much more flexible in how you want to spend your money than it is with a dining plan and a dining plan might not be my cup of tea. In addition to that, if you are go going solo with the new dining offer, you are missing out and you are wasting a little bit of money because this is calculated for a at least two people per room occupation and then you would get out the same back 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 for back back for banks no back ba bang for buck <laughs> that one value for money then you would get the same value for money that you have gotten last year if you are traveling alone it seems like we are as solo travelers are not longer in the target group surprising fact at least for me i thought things are just a whole lot more expensive than they were this year it doesn't seem to be the case at least not for those examples if you have another impression or you have another experience please let me know i'm always interested and my last tip and i think this is a big one i went on this web page on Thursday when like the packages dropped and there was a queue of several hours to get on the web page so I would say everyone calm down a little bit because this offer is on till September and there is enough time to place a booking they also like released other offers during the during the year and later to the booking dates as they also did this year for example they now released a 25% off deal for the summer months um, which is quite interesting especially if you don't feel that a quick service or in general a dining plan is like a good is a good option for you you can still save on room prices quite significantly also you can chill even if you place a booking and i placed this booking for coronado springs and i will never <laughs> i will not take it and stay there um the deposit is pretty low so it's 65 uh, euros deposit you can just have like the peace of mind that you have something in place but you also can change it and move it around and you know upgrade it downgrade it whatever you like with it it's no problem at all they are super helpful in the hotline and um it's not like a financial disaster to put in a booking now because all you need is basically the 65 euros to secure your spot and have a disney world booking looking for and um i mean let's be let's be honest life is happening and not many of us can plan a year ahead I hope this video gave you some value and some insights and a little bit of more confidence in booking and if you want to see more content around Disney, around solo traveling and around this phase then please subscribe and I will see you all soon. Bye!